Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. I'm just chilling out in this garden, all peaceful, quiet, serenity. I took an entire day off just to meditate so that I could, I could be in the Zen mode. I'm ultra Zen right now. Look at my Zen. All right, um, we're here in the, I was about to call this the Zen Garden. This isn't Plants vs. Zombies. This is Aztec Village or whatever it's called. A, a gate village is what it's actually called. I'm just off to a good start, aren't I? So we're here to start opening the hearts to some of our Pokemon. So you see, I've got three Pokemon here that are Shadow Pokemon. Off screen, I went and purified the hearts of these beautiful boys. So let's start with these Pokemon here. First, I'll do this with Drevis. I've had this in the in the box for a while. I don't even know when I got its heart purified, but I did. So it's done. There's Mistrevis. Look at her. She's great. What a great designed Pokemon. I love Mistrevis' design. She regains Psybeam. 971 experience. I don't think that's a lot. Let's nickname it. So no one has nicknamed this Pokemon in the comments. But I figured I have a good nickname for it. The Whenever I think of Mistrevis, I think of this man right here. The legendary. It won't fit. I'll, I'll do Chugga. There we go. Chugga Conroy. His Let's Play at Pokemon Coliseum is something that I loved growing up. When I was when I was watching it, it helped me fall in love with this game. So, him using Mistrevis, all the memes, all the it doesn't affect Mistrevis is great. I loved it. So there's Chugga right there. If he ever sees this, I love you, man. I love you. I want to I want to make a video with you one day. That'd be amazing. All right, next Pokemon, we got our boy Dunsparce. Look at this little dude. He's so cute. I love him. He's got his little wings. He's got his little tail. Oh, Don Sparse is great. You know, off camera, I was I was like, man, should I use Don Sparse on my team? So I started using him just to like train him up. And honestly, I want to use him on my team. And the main reason is because we actually got a nickname for this boy. Dude Bro Gaming in the comments said nickname him Blunt Spark. So you know what? We got our boy Blunt Spark right here. I don't know what it means, but it sounds awesome. Hell yeah. Where's the P? Oops, that's not a P. Hell yeah. That's a great name. Yo, I love Blunt Spark. I've never used a Dunsparce on my team before, so I'm very excited for that. That's gonna be sweet. <laughs> Hell yeah, there's my boy. There's my boy Blunt Spark right there. Oh, that makes me so happy. Makes me so happy. All right, next Pokemon. We got it. We got it coming. So, this is another Pokemon that we got a nickname for. We got two of them. I'm so I'm so happy. We got we got two of them. So, Joe Lawrence in the comments he commented on the Mount Battle video, my pain and torturing, but something good came out of it because he asked, "Can you nickname Swablu Nimbus?" I love that name so much. I'm so happy that I'm actually using Swablu on my team too. Like that was my whole plan from the beginning. And Nimbus is such a great name because it fits because because uh, Swablu has a cloud, which which like Dragon Ball and also anime. So it's like it just works for me both ways. I could I can't thank you enough for that nickname. And that's it. That's all we got for now. I thank you to Dude Bro Gaming and Joe Lords for nicknaming the Pokemon. Look at Altaria. Altar Altaria is so goddamn nice looking. All right, let's 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 get Nimbus in the... Oh, Dragon Breath. Yes. Yes, let's get Dragon Breath right here. This is a good start. So, Safeguard, I don't really... That's actually not bad. Uh, Mirror Move, I don't feel like I'm going to use too often. I'm just going to get rid of it. I can I can see how it could be useful in some in some ways, but I'm not smart enough to use it, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I got a ribbon. I have no idea what the ribbons do. If you guys could like help me out in the comments with the ribbon thing, maybe uh, maybe I'll uh I'll figure that out. All right, here we got here we got the Nimbus Cloud. Hell yeah! 
Nice. That's great. I'm so happy. This is a great start to this, this episode. All right. So that's all we had to do here in a gate village. Um, I am going to cut back to the under. I'll see you guys down under. <laughs> All right, well, here we are back at the under. We're taking our little uh, back back door entrance down into the cave. This will lead us right to the Coliseum, which is actually where I want to go. So in the last part, honestly, I don't even remember. We we found the under and we talked to some kids. It was like my fan club and, uh, you know, so much stuff happened, right? So now we're back here. Hold on. I just I just remembered I need to get a uh, bay back in my party. So let's just move out Mistrevis. Mistrevis is pretty pretty useful in this game. If you've watched Chugga Conroy's Let's Play, you would you would see why. But for me, uh, it's not something I want to use, you know? If I had to think of, like, an, out of these Pokemon here, if I had to think of adding someone to my team, I mean, honestly, Pseudo Wudo wouldn't be bad. Um... Flaffy would be pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. Flaffy would be useful. Uh, And honestly, other than that, I don't know. Makuhita? I would like to use Makuhita. Maybe, maybe in the comments, you can let me know. Out of these Pokemon here, would you like to see any of these be a member of my team? Because right now, I got I got Nimbus, I got Bloodspark, I got Quag. Um, I have these two. Which, I these... I'd be okay with getting rid of one or both of these. Honestly, I feel like most people who play Coliseum play with Umbreon and Espeon on their team, right? But I don't know. It'd be it'd be fun to mix it up and just get rid of them and use new Pokemon, you know? And then Meganium is... Uh, it's been underwhelming me so far this Let's Play. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But listen, I'm still giving them a chance. I'm still giving them a chance. I picked them for a reason. I wanted to show them off, so... All right, let's do this Coliseum. The Under Coliseum. A knockout challenge just ended a short while ago. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. Um. Oh, well, shit. This throws my whole plans out the window. I need to wait for Lady Venus. What the hell do I do? Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to do some detective work. No, I'm not looking for an autograph. I'm looking for Lady Venus. Uh, what do I do? Dude, I'm a bit confused now. Hold on. I'm going to find this out. Okay, don't worry. Or it's in this building over here. Was this some kind of store? I think this... Yeah, this is some old lady selling herbs. That's what it is. This guy has like a secret code or something. I... Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I need help with this. If, if, if you guys don't tell me how to do this in the comments, I'm going to have to look it up. Because I have no clue. That guy is on some whack-ass shit. I don't know what the hell is going on with him. So, I have a funny story to tell. So, I'm at work, right? And one of my coworkers is telling me... He's talking to me about my, like, my YouTube channel. He's like, how many views do you consider, like, a lot of views for your video? And I'm like, uh, I, I don't know, like... I mean, I don't really, I don't really go for views a lot, right? But if I had to, if I had to give an answer, like I guess like 50 or 60 views, I would call a lot of views for one of my videos. Like for me personally, what the fuck? No! What the come on! Gosh, lady. Like this is like the sixth time I've battled this lady. I swear to god, it is so frustrating. I don't know how the trainers work in this game, but they like they just keep on respawning and, and having you battle them. I literally off screen when I was getting Nimbus and Bloodspark leveled up. I went through this this building to face all these trainers, and now they're all back again. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, what was I talking about? So the guy at work was asking me about my YouTube video, right, or my YouTube channel, and he was asking me what a lot of views was, and I was like, well, I don't know. I guess like. 50 to 60 views, I would get, I would call a lot of views for me. Um, and he's like, oh, okay. And I was like, um, why are you asking? And he goes, oh, I just wanted to like gauge it for my videos. Just to, like have like a reference point. And I was like, oh, you have a YouTube channel? 
like, yeah, I made one five days ago. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, you know, like how many views did you get that you want to gauge? He's like, oh, I got 5,000 views. I'm like, whoa, dude. Like, that's that's awesome. Like, damn, what's your what's your channel? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go subscribe to you and, and shout you out and stuff. He's like, oh, I don't want to tell you. I'm like, I'm like, hold on now. Okay, that's a... Why don't you want to tell me? He's like, oh, no, I just, I just don't want to tell. I just want people, don't want people to know what my channel is, what my video is. And I'm like, what? Like, like what do you, what, what kind of videos do you make? Oh, I, I don't want to tell you. I, uh. <laughs> so now I'm like, I'm looking at all my other guys. I'm looking at all the other guys there. I'm like, you guys like sit here. Is this like suspicious to you? Like, like, do you make like, you make like furry porn on YouTube, don't you? You make like some, some weird YouTube videos that you want to keep a secret. He's like, no, 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 I just, no, I just don't want to, you would, you would like it. <laughs> so, that was so weird, man. I don't understand. Like, I don't know. Is that weird to anyone else? Like, if, if I'm making a YouTube video and I got 5,000 views in like two days or something, that's awesome. Like, that's crazy. That's like as much views as I have total all of my videos combined and i've been making videos since fucking february and he got it in like five days supposedly unless he's lying to me i have no idea i mean i don't know why he would have a reason to lie to be honest but um i don't know i just found it so weird even and th even today he's like he he's in the he's in my discord with me and he posts like a screenshot of his analytics and he's like yeah, this is the bragging rights I get for my analytics. And I was like, all right. Hey, that's good for you, man. Like, uh, you know, I don't. Part of me thinks it's kind of like a thing. He wants to make me jealous or something. I don't know. Like, I've been talking about my YouTube channel for months and how, how much fun I'm having. And I get comment. I get people co commenting on my videos. And, and then he's just like, oh, yeah, I just want to compare my compare my video with you just to see what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing, man. I see what you're doing. You're just trying to show off. All right. I'm going to have to fucking figure out where to go. My next guess is going downstairs to that my fan clubhouse with all the little kids. Because I think they're doing something. Something's happening. <laughs> Where the fuck is Lady Venus? How do I how do I talk to my you're my Venus, you're my fire, your desire? Where is it? Better explain it a little uh okay, yeah. Okay. Uh oh okay. I think I need to go back up to Pyrite Town and go to the kids base and then tell them to like do something. You know what? We're gonna try that. So I'm gonna cut up to the kids' base in Pyrite Town, and I'll be back, okay? I'll see you there. All right, so here we are back in Duking's place. Uh, we're going to move the bookshelf over. How do I move it? Is there a button on here? There's the button. Uh, okay, let's see if this, this plan works with these little kids. Who's the leader here? Yeah, you've lost contact. Well, I gave them a chip to get contacts. Song for the kids good. I, uh, okay. Are you the leader? You're the leader. Uh, hi, big people. This bus. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I got worried that she was gonna fucking. Uh, okay. Is someone gonna fucking? No, puzzle's not doing good. What the? What do I do? Who? Okay, Duking. I need your help. Two women up on the ground floor of that beat up. What were those two women up on the ground? floor of that beat up building no no are they gonna make me go back up to the fucking base are you okay I think I'm gonna have to go all the way the fuck back up here which means I'm gonna have to do all these goddamn trainer battles again Okay, you know what? You know what? Before I do this, I'm going to look this up. Because I don't want to go up there and waste my time. So we're going to find this out, okay? So don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll be back.
Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Man, I swear to god, not playing this game for just a couple days has thrown me off completely. I completely forgot in the last episode, I beat those two freaking cypher girls after they trapped the stupid guy. They trapped Dookie's friend. So I gotta go talk to him. I literally beat the people that imprisoned him, and then I just forgot about him and left. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. He's probably like, did he- he just left me? This stupid guy right here, Silva. Ah, it's me Silva from Dookie's. I discovered that they were bringing a shadow Pokemon on the pirate from here. That's as far as I got when they caught me like this. But I did manage to filch this from them. Okay. That's what I need, the R disc. Uh, I don't know if it's down here in the under. Yeah, okay. So, all that fucking running around that I just did, all I had to do was just go like, Oh, let's just go and save the guy that I that I saved. So we'll talk to him. And he had the disc I needed. So now we can put that and it or our disc, if you could put the words together, stands for right disc, which means it moves left. No, it just moves right. So there you go. So now I don't know where this goes. This is a building. Is there any items? No, no, no. So yeah, I I have to apologize for not making a video on Monday. I was just so... Man, I was going to record Sunday. I literally slept almost all of Sunday. And once I get through this cutscene, I'll tell you. But, oh my god. I slept almost the entirety of Sunday. It was ridiculous. Oh my god, three rare candies. That's fucking dope. Okay, let's go check these items. Look at this shitty ass fucking place that these people live in. Lady Venus is especially confident on her right profile. Okay. Hello. Testing, testing. The rain in the under is accompanied by thunder. Testing. Oh, that's a good one. That rhymes. You there. You're distracting me. Quiet on the set. You two. You're holding up the film shoot. We're about to begin filming. Wait. Who are you? Ack! I recognize those faces. Those faces were on the blacklist from headquarters. How did you find us? But that's not important now. I'll squash you myself and collect a reward from Master NASCAR. He's gonna go driving in his in his big car. I'm facing her? Oh my god. Holy shit, level 45! I don't Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Come on, Nimbus and Blood Spark, it's your debut battle! You're only slightly underleveled. So, here's a boss battle of uh, Lady Venus. She's my fire, your desire. I'm gonna die. Let's fly. Let's fly into Vileplume. Let's fucking, um, uh, um, um, yawn that Delicati. I'm not ready for this. I wouldn't be surprised if this double-edged one-shots me. I'm not even joking. Oh, especially if it gets a crit. Yeah, okay. There goes, there goes Bloodspark. Um, nice debut battle for, for Bloodspark. I'm sorry, dude, bro. I was not expecting level 45 fucking Pokemon. What the? Holy moly. Okay. What do I do now? I'm like so fucked. <laughs> um, well, I guess I can talk about my Sunday now. So, I worked all week, right? We did overtime. Sunday, I wake up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I woke up and got out of bed. I was so far. I wasn't. I wasn't like awake and just laying in bed. Just I was lazy. I literally woke up at twelve. It was so. It, I was so fucked. It threw my whole day off. Um. I woke. I ate. I ate lunch. I had like French toast, and then around three o'clock, I fell asleep again, and then I didn't wake up until six o'clock. So, I woke up at twelve, ate breakfast, uh, went to sleep at three, woke up at six, ate my dinner. And I went to bed at 9, and I woke up at like 11, and I went to bed at 12. It was fucking like, I was maybe up for like 6 hours in the day total. It was, it was not fun. It's not a fun day. So I was going to record at some point during that, and I was like, man, I can't. Like, I just, I just can't. I need to, I need to go to sleep. I need to just rest my body and my soul. Like, oh, I'm in love with Del Caddy, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, Del Caddy, you fuck. No! Ow! Okay. This is gonna be a difficult battle. Also, if you can't tell by my voice again, 
my allergies are kicking my ass. That was another thing too. Oh my god, I completely forgot. So on top of all the sleep from Sunday, my it's allergy season for me. Allergies, my allergies are killing me. So my eyes are very itchy. My nose is runny. I got a scratchy throat. It kind of feels like I'm getting sick, but I'm not. It's my allergies. I swear to God. I can't use helping hands. Son of a bitch. So like all day Sunday, I'm freaking rubbing my eyes because my eyes hurt so much. I wake up Monday morning, which is today. I wake up this morning and like it looks like it looks like someone has punched me in the eye and I've got black eyes. My eye, my eyes are so puffed up. Oh my god, I had to go into work like that. It was brutal. Everyone thought I was out drinking on Sunday. I was like, no, I'm just, I was just sleeping all day and rubbed my eyes and I was tired. Like, I wasn't drinking. I don't drink. I don't, I don't drink alcohol. So, yeah, brutal, brutal day for me. Hopefully your guys' weekends have, were better than mine. Because Jesus Christ, that was not fun. It's not fun for me. But we're back now. We're back playing some Pokemon. I'm happy. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a grind, I'll tell you. I, I, I swear, I say this all the time. It really is difficult making videos daily. Like, I don't know how some people do it. Oh, like... Okay, I understand if they don't work. Like, people who make YouTube videos for, for like, a full-time job, um, I can understand that. Because it's like, all right. Like, they don't have to get up early or, or go to work. They can literally just sit at home and record whenever they want for how long that they want to record. So, like, I do understand that. That part of it. But, um... Uh, oh! No! Oh my god! Why? I should have expected this. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. We're gonna fucking sing this. Oh, no. oh. Dude, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm getting flashbacks already. I'm getting I'm getting major flashbacks of that fucking Entei. But it's okay, because Quagsire is about to die. So, okay. Quag is out. He's not gonna crit the Suicune. So, thank god. <laughs> I did that on purpose because I didn't want him to kill it. Uh, what do I do now? Do I go to- do I go to bay? What do you have? Well, here's the thing. Umbreon can't really do anything to Steelix to kill it. So I think I need to send out bay just to try and kill that Steelix. Because otherwise Steelix is going to be fucking me up. Like, non-stop. It's going to be brutal. So let me- let me just cry. There you go. There's some chip damage on Suicune. That's good. Maybe paralyze it? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Aha! Oh, shit. Wait. Don't. Don't. Oh. Oh. Okay, I gotta kill that fucking... I gotta kill that Steelix before he kills Suicune. Let's put Suicune to sleep. And then I have nothing to kill Steelix. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, what do I do? This is a fucking body slam him. I don't know. Man, my team sucks, dude. I need some better Pokemon. <laughs> okay, please hit this thing. Please hit this thing. Yo, paralyze that Celix. That'd be fantastic. Just paralyze him real quick. Just paralyze him. Yes! Something went my way. Okay, then hit this thing. Oh, I know. Okay, can't move. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I got another chance for Sing. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna synthesis up, baby. We're just gonna heal up. If this Steelix kills Suicune, I swear to God, I will have an aneurysm. I think it's in range, too. I literally think this Steelix is about to kill this fucking Suicune. Oh my God, I just put it to sleep, too. Please, Steelix, don't use Earthquake. Just don't. Just don't use it. Do not fucking earthquake. Okay, attract. That's fine. What is that? Lower my attack? 
That's fine. I'm fine with that. I fell in love. Oh, there you go. I'm in love with the stripper. All right. It is time. We're going to catch this fucking Suicune. I got 12 great balls. I'm not leaving this battle until I get a Suicune on my team. And I'm serious. I am damn serious. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I came into this video thinking we were going to do a Coliseum battle. No, oh, we're catching fucking Suicune. Good boy, dog. Oh, I got two shakes. Oh, I saw you shaking in there, you little shaker. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Look at the glow on his little thing on his head. That looks nice. That looks cool. I think Suicune's honestly my favorite out of the three dogs. If I, like, just design-wise, I love Suicune's design. It looks so goddamn good. Honestly, I mean, even, even competitively, I would, I would probably call Suicune my favorite. Suicune is so annoying in competitive, but it's so good. Like, it's so good, dude. They call it, um, I think the set is called Crocoon set. That's the popular one where you do, uh, what do you, what is the set? You don't curse up. No, no, no. You calm mind. It's calm mind, scald, rest, sleep talk. That's the set right there. You calm mind up with Suicune. You, you rest when you need the heal. You sleep talk while you're sleeping. And then you... You just scald everything. It's it's such a good set. I swear to God. It's so good, guys. If you're looking for a Pokemon to use competitive and Suicune's in the tier, use Suicune. I'm telling you. It's gonna do you wonders. You're gonna you're gonna love it. I should probably heal Nimbus up. Because Nimbus is honestly doing a fantastic job. So let's just keep him let's let's keep her alive. There you go. You're gonna shadow rush me, that's fine. As long as you don't kill me, okay. I probably should have just used... I should have... Oh no. I'm not using a move on Steelix. Motherfucker and Steelix, bitch! I have nothing to... I have nothing to hit Steelix. I'm literally walled by Steelix. Holy shit. This is bad. Okay, let's use some uh, lemonades. Hey, uh... Hey, Nimbus, you want to drink some lemonade? Oh, you love it. You love it. Uh, use it. Okay, Suicune's going to kill itself, dude. I'm going to fucking lose. Suicune's going to die. No. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm just waiting for that fucking... I'm waiting for Steelix to use Earthquake. I know it's going to happen. He's going to kill He's gonna kill Suicune. He's going to kill Suicune. Okay, Rock Slide. That's good. Well, you see what I mean, though, about this, about Suicune being way easier than Entei? Entei was just brutally difficult. Just in general, Entei just hits harder, right? It's a, it's a more offensive Pokemon. So, that was, man, that was so difficult to deal with, that fucking Entei. I'm not even surprised that I didn't catch it. Like, I, I, I was so upset for, like, the first, the couple episodes after that. Now, time has passed. I'm looking back on it. I'm like, you know what? I'm not even upset that I missed Ente. I can understand how I missed him. He was so difficult. It's such a difficult mod to catch. This is annoying, though. I'll tell you that. I mean, what am I supposed to do here? Like, it's at red health. It's asleep. His, his partner's fucking paralyzed. There's not really much else I can do to increase my, my chances of catching. It's not like I could have plenty of ultra balls at this point either it's just like you know i'm stuck with great balls this is what i mean this game is so difficult why don't they let you buy ultra balls it blows my mind like i'm using great balls to catch a fucking legendary dog and i can't catch him i think i think he's gonna get away this is gonna be the one that got away folks i'm just i'm telling you type it in the chat type it in the chat if you think i'm gonna catch suicune or if you think this fucking Steelix is gonna kill him. Cause I know where I put my bet. I think this I think this Steelix is about to fucking kill this Suicune. That's what I think is gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna use another lemonade on my boy Nimbus. I I love how Bloodspark literally died in one hit. In the first his first battle. In his first turn, he gets one-shotted by a crit. That was fantastic. 
You know, I don't expect Blood Spark to go out uh, any other way. <laughs> that's like, that's like the perfect debut for him. Oh my god, that's so funny. Come on! Yes! I got Suicune! I just got a fucking Suicune! Let's go! Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow! I'm so happy. Holy shit, I can't believe I caught Suicune. Get out of here, you fucking bitch. I'm your fire, your desire, Venus. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just did that. Holy shit. I'm so glad that I didn't go out live on the air. What the hell is this stupid dancer doing? You look like an idiot. Just stop. I just caught your sweet coon. How's it feel? Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down. Ah, run away. Aye! How dare you? How can I get bested by a mere boy? Remember this. I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Everyone Naruto runs in this game. Holy shit. That was it. That was it, guys. Let's read this Ein file. Final report. Some interesting discoveries were made about the purification process. There are several ways to cause the opening of the heart's door. And the result affecting... And the resulting effects appear to differ with their origin, original nature of the Pokemon. I cannot read, apparently. Also, as the purification process advances, the Shadow Pokemon regains its moves and its original nature. When the purification process is completed, the Pokemon regains its experience points and accumulates level up by using the Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon Lab. Yeah, we already know that. Okay. I'm going to call the episode there, guys. We were going to do the Coliseum this episode. We got sidetracked. We got lost. We purified Pokemon. We killed of Lady Venus. Let's go get this item over here. Um, we caught a fucking Suicune. Yo, I want to see some hype in the chat. So, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're ready to watch more. Um, I'm going to try and post daily. You guys know that I, that I mostly do that. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Listen. Listen. Just sue me, alright? Sue me, okay? In the next episode, we're gonna go down the staircase where Lady Venus went. I don't know where it leads. Bisco, uh, see you later. Bye-bye. Have a good one, guys.